up for spring is a marathon, not a sprint. And if you're not careful, you could push it a little too hard. Yeah, there's so much to get done. And the last thing you want on your to-do list is an injury. <laughs> I definitely don't, but I have some, and I'll get into that later. Oh, but I know, okay. <laughs> just from cleaning out things, but we got the expert here, Dr. Brian Meenan of Premier Chiropractic Clinic, known as the famous TikTok doc, is here with us now to make sure that we are keeping our chores and our bodies in check. So, Dr. Brian, we got to ask you, and I told you before I was coming over here, it's kind of hard not to injure yourself, especially if you're moving big boxes or doing more of a heavy labor, and that's what I, happened to me this week. Yeah, for sure. The, especially springtime, we're doing a lot of different chores that we haven't done in maybe a year or right. six months before right. winter right. hit. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of different things that we can follow to just kind of help prevent a lot of those injuries. Um, warming up is super important. A lot of us don't warm up when we do these any sort of physical activity. Right. All you exercise. need is like a couple minutes, right? Yeah. And it's it's something that we haven't done in a while. So a couple minutes of doing a warm up, we'll sh we'll show you a couple exercises later that are my favorite. It, it doesn't take long. It doesn't have to be a whole hour routine. Just something quick to warm up. But don't feel silly about that because really, whenever you're doing heavy lifting or cleaning or whatever that maybe you do once a year, mm -hmm. it's it's really like an athletic activity, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and that's it's important to get your body ready for it, to not try to overdo it. Don't mm -hmm. do too many heavy things at once, all those sorts of things. Another good tip, dividing the heavy chores, and that's something I can do with my husband. Sometimes like I think, oh, I can do it. I can do it myself. Yeah. No, yeah. I can't. <laughs> Make yeah, him just do it. On him. <laughs> yeah, he does all the labor. No, I really don't do a whole lot. I do little things and still get hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of your hand, though, switching hands is a big one. Oh, like yeah. that's that's one thing we don't think of. If we're right-handed, we use our right hand right. for everything, whether it's vacuuming, cleaning the windows, or whatever. Yeah. So switching hands to the left one, it might feel a little awkward. Or you might not be as good, but um, it's really important it to do that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. All right, so you want to show us a few things, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Two easy yes. stretches, okay? okay. I'm I kept them paper. standing I'll for you guys so we can stand. It's okay. Okay, we're the standing The first one, <laughs> just got to stand up. Feet shoulder width apart. Okay. okay. So a lot, a lot of spring cleaning, we're bending a lot, doing a right. lot of bending. We hardly ever extend back. So we're gonna do the opposite. Okay. Put your hands back here, like kind of on the back dimples down okay. low. Yep. Okay. And then we'll just extend back. Oh. Look up to the ceiling. That's a nice How far stretch. back do we go? As far as you can. Oh boy. Yep. And you can do reps of it. So come back That's up. That's a nice stretch. And then just back yeah. again. Okay. How far yeah. is too far? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Three <laughs> sets of ten, something like that, just to get the back warm. Okay. Three okay, sets of ten. Okay. Warm. All right. What else? And then the other one, it's just kind of like a lunge stretch or a little twist on a lunge stretch. Okay. So what you'll do, yeah, right foot forward, nice. You'll kind of lean forward a little bit, and you should feel it on the in the front of this yeah. left hip. And then we're gonna reach to the other side. Wait, wait, wait. Don't fall over. I know. You got it. Oh, Come on, reach. Oh, you can reach oh, further. Oh, there we go. Did, 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 is it normal to scream when you're stretching? Of course. Ah, it seems to give you more power. I don't yeah, know. You can feel that all kind of down the side, um, into the hips. Right. Just really good to get everything nice and loose and moving. Oh, that's yeah. see, that's easy. It takes a couple of minutes. Get it done before you get it into all the action and we'll be good to go. That's right? right. And if you think you have done something, like if you immediately feel pain or something, like, you know, it, it, do you do more stretches? Do you figure out, like, does that help or do you just rest and cool it? Yeah, usually activity is good as long as it's not too painful. So yeah. keep trying to move a little bit um, as long as it's not flaring it up. And then if it's there for a couple days and not going away, give someone a call right. and, and get it checked out. Yeah, get it checked sure. out. Well, All Dr. Right. Brian, thanks for coming in. This You're was very my welcome. first segment. Of yes, course, I follow you. You're you fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. You got to come back fun. more. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much, Dr. Dr. Brian. And for more tips from Dr. Bo Bo Brian, easy <laughs> for me to say, the TikTok chiropractor, just go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.